Hello friends, hope you all are doing well. Once again, I welcome you to my channel, Lyceum of Politics. Now friends, today I am going to discuss with you about an Indian theoretician, Dr. Ram Monohar Lohia, okay? And specially focusing on his concept of new socialism. So without wasting any more time, let's start our journey today and discuss Ram Monohar Lohia's concept of new socialism. Now friends, Dr. Ram Monohar Lohia was undoubtedly one of the most notable theoretician among the socialist thinkers in India, who made a creditable contribution to the socialist thought of the country. Now focusing on creation of the environment characterized by equality, democracy, egalitarianism, socio-economic and political justice and all-round development for our country, he gave a call for the concept of new socialism. Okay. Now, Lohia was born in Faizabad, UP in 1910 and after completing his education from the University of Calcutta and then also from the Benares Hindu University, he went for his higher studies from Humboldt University of Berlin. Okay. After he returned back to India, he joined the Indian National Congress and later he helped to set up the Congress Socialist Party also. He founded the Praja Socialist Party in 1952 and some of his major works are Will to Power, Marx, Gandhi and Socialism, Guilty Men of India's Partition, Economics After Marx and many more. Okay. So now let's have a look at the political thought of Ram Manohar Lohia. Lohia had a never-ending quest for knowledge. As a trained intellectual, he tried to analyze the civilization transformation that happened throughout the period of history, okay? After which he embarked on framing an ideological framework that exclusively suits the soil of our own country, okay? He was against the blind adoption of alien values or institutional framework for the country. Thus, in spite of being inspired by the concept of socialism, he remodified the Marxian notion of dialectical materialism by putting emphasis on the element of intellectual consciousness, okay, which he believed has a significant role to play in shaping the contours of any kind of historical event. He also scrutinized the theoretical foundations of capitalism in order to prove its limitations and he concluded that sometimes it can prove itself as a reactionary ideology also. So my friends, now let us focus on the concept of new socialism as discussed by Lohia. The concept is basically a simple one. See, as I have told you just now that he conceptualized the idea of socialism, right? But remember that he did so in the light of Gandhian philosophy. With the concept of new socialism, he envisioned an all-round development for the country characterized by socio political and economic development and also the advancement of our country. Okay, he basically interlocked the philosophy of socialism with the doctrines of Gandhian philosophy. I hope you are getting it. The Gandhian philosophy of Satyagraha, the theory of ends and means, all these are mixed with the concept of socialism and he tried to form a new idea which suits exclusively the soil of our country. Okay. So, Lohia focused on the unique concept of decentralized socialism characterized by small machines, cooperative labor, village government and also decentralized planning. So, now let's have a look at the fundamental elements of new socialism. This encapsulates both domestic as well as the foreign aspects of the life of the people. Okay, He believed that the cumulative impact of this theory of new socialism would provide an all comprehensive and satisfying life for the individual. So the basic elements of new socialism are number one egalitarian standard in the area of income and expenditure. Number two, growing economic interdependence. Then a world parliament system based on adult franchise. Democratic freedom inclusive of right to private life. Individual and collective civil disobedience. And dignity and right of common man. Okay. So these are the basic features of the new socialism. Now, though sometimes it is said that his ideas perhaps paves way for an utopian thinking to a large extent, but it is beyond doubt, my friends, that his ideals were definitely unique and which makes him stands apart from the other theoreticians of socialism. Okay. 
So friends, this was Ram Monohar Lohia's concept of new socialism. Very soon, I will come back to you with many of the other concepts of Lohia. Hope you liked the video. Please press the like button if you like it. Share the video with your friends and please subscribe to our channel. Do let me know if you want any specific topic of your concern through my videos. Very soon, I will come back to you. Till then, never stop learning. Keep on exploring. Bye-bye and take care.